It has been repeated thrice in the Quran. Who will lead the Arsana Rasoola who will hold our Deen in Hak? Tell you, Zira who are the Deen in Kulli Hi Walau Kari Hal Mushrikun. Ayah number thirty-three of Surah At-Tawbah. Who will lead the Arsana Rasoola who will hold our Deen in Hak? Tell you, Zira who are the Deen in Kulli Hi Wa Kafa Billahi Shahida. Ayah twenty-eight of Surah Al-Fatih. Who will lead the Arsana Rasoola who will hold our Deen in Hak? Tell you, Zira who are the Deen in Kulli Hi Walau Kari Hal Mushrikun. Ayah number nine of Surah Al-Saf. in the same way the main or essential wordings and the terminology used in this ayah number 2 of surah al-juma it has appeared in the quran four times this can give you an idea how important it is to understand the methodology as i said in some some of my lectures before also that to do something there is a definite method to do it you cannot you know get the results without you are using and the technique that is necessary that that is the the way that it should be done if you are not adopting it then you may be very sincere you may be very hard working but you won't get the results i gave you an example there is a particular season in which wheat can be sowed and then only you can hope for the harvest but if you are sowing the seeds of the wheat in wrong season you may be very sincere you may be very hard working but you will not get the harvest because you have not taken to this true methodology so actually the purpose of the advent of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are finding thrice in the quran but his basic methodology has been repeated four times in the quran so that can give you an understanding of the measure of the importance of this methodology